good. I'm thinking about that. Don't eat that. Just think I think there's it. other donuts in there. There is. Human donut. For, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Look the edible. All right. So um, the breaking news is the fact that 20,000 friends 20, have joined us. Thank and, you uh, all. And you had to have a little um, talk with all of them this week. Um, you had a little. You had a little um, post that um, about 700 people commented on, and I think you were right on. So let's just move on. And Thank if you, you want to read that post, look for Bob's post. We're going to start out with Roxanne. <laughs> Roxanne. I think I deleted it. No, you didn't. It's still there. Oh. Okay. Roxanne has a rabbit problem. Oh my goodness! Look at this. They keep eating all of her perennials. So what should Roxanne do? Roxanne, you've got to use a taste. Whether or not you want to make it, you know, by using some garlic and, you know, there's so many recipes out on the internet that you could do, or you can buy a product. But I really do believe you cannot use the same product over and over and over. You should switch it out every once in a while. And a lot of them, if it rains, you got to do it all over again. Aww. So the idea is to keep changing it Or get a it dog. Up. Or get a dog like like yeah. barley. What about like the the um, the predator urine? Predator urine. Predator urine does work though. Okay. It does. And then what about like hair oh. from the shower? No, I don't believe that it. Doesn't work. No, okay. and blood. People say blood. blood. People say well, dried blood. Really? Well, it's a fertilizer. It's oh. pure nitrogen. Okay. So dried blood and hair. I don't really. Th I think they're a bit of an old wives' tale. There was a huge rabbit population surge last year. I'm wondering if there, this year there is. Yeah, they're out on, there. Well, I the winter. Winter was really uh, tough, though. Uh, well, we don't everybody's know. got rabbit problems. All right, Barb. Barb loves being outside, and she loves working in her garden, but she has a gnat problem. Anything that you can suggest to get rid of that? Well, yeah, the, gnat and heavy-duty um, odors do not go. They don't like hard, tough smells. Take a uh, the dryer. What are those things called? The dryer. The, the, the lint? The, the lint. No, not the lint. The dryer napkins. Dryer sheets? That's it. Dryer sheets, put a couple in your pocket. Vanilla, they don't like the smell of vanilla, but not the sugary one, just straight vanilla. You want to do stuff like that. Um, oh, oils, I didn't know that. Oils, anything that gives off, and I think it was on our page and I couldn't find it. Her dad, this woman's dad, wears a hat and he takes double-sided tape and puts it around his hat and that's usually go to the highest spot and they just stick to the tape and then he takes it off and he throws it away. That's a I great idea. I try that one. That seems very Or just take cool. the tape off. Keep the hat. Yeah, exactly. What do you think? That's a good idea. All right, Liz has a question about her maple tree. She's only lived in her house for a year, but she's worried about it because you can see the trunk is split and the, and the inside is soft and the back side of it is solid. She read wrapping it in the winter will help, but is this tree lost and what should she do now? No, you really do see a lot of trees that have damage like that. Just leave it alone. No scraping, no painting, no wrapping at this time of year. Let nature, nature might just heal that. Not completely over. It's always going to be a different look, but it's okay. If it's growing and leafing out, I wouldn't worry about it at all. But next fall, she maybe should she wrap should it. She should wrap it because the and canopy isn't big enough and it's a smooth bark tree. And that's because of the heating and cooling with the one north side, side one in side the winter, right? One side heats up and one side cools down. And you use those paper, the paper. Yes, that's okay. ones I like. All right, Julie has a question. Julie is, uh, has an unknown pest damaging her service berry tree. Right, which is pretty much service berry leaf roller. Is a caterpillar in there that's the same. Part of her question was, what's eating it? So there's a caterpillar. She said there's webs in, and larvae right, inside. There's caterpillars inside that, the larvae, the web. They roll the leaf for protection, and it's pretty common all over the place. But what you can do now is you got to wait, and I would spray, depending on what you want to spray, whether it's a chemical or organic. But once you see them out there, or you can pierce it and spray it, but I would just wait and spray whenever they come oh, out. Oh, the service berries are so pretty, they too. They are beautiful. So. All right, well, Julie, good luck with that. We have another Julie, and this Julie also has a tree issue. Um, is it normal for my crimson maple to get these spots? Otherwise, the tree looks pretty healthy. And the tree is very healthy. What, what, what you do need is, no, you don't need, it's no sunlight. Lichen grows on the side, probably the north side, that doesn't get a lot of sun. So it just happens to, a lot to maples, too. But it's nothing. It's not going to hurt the tree. It's, you don't have to do anything about it. Kind of looks kind of cool. It's pretty cool. It's kind of cool. Next week, we do not have a show, <laughs> we, but what? because of Tour de France, yes. I believe. But on Friday, we are going to introduce people to one of your new favorite annuals, right? From, which is from Monrovia. From Monrovia, and it is the coolest 
sunflower you've ever seen. That's right, and it's an annual, but we'll tell you all about that next Friday on Grow With Care. And of course, if you want to find out more about Grow With Care, go to our Facebook page and ask us to be part of it. We bring everybody in, everybody has a great time, and everybody helps each other. It is the most fabulous, wonderful page, and we are having a great time. Well, I should say you and Laura are having a great time because you're really doing a great job of, of maintaining a, it. It's a great group. The people are very nice. You can pose any question you want, and someone's going to give you an answer. And sometimes and it's you. Just Sometimes I just watch to make sure we're going down the right path. Yeah. And be kind. And that's you know what's also great about it is that everyone's sharing their beautiful um, pictures, victories. Their victories and pictures. their birds, and we really yeah. love that as well.